Well, hello Aries. Welcome back to Delilah Spiritual Spot. I'm going to not get into why I've been missing. Um, and it has to do with mental health and physical health. And sometimes one affects the other. And I just needed a, a long break. And I'm back. And we're going to do your January reading here. So we're going to do some tea leaves. So one will be, you know, if you're expecting anything, the timing. Um, we'll pull an astral house card as well as a tea leaf card and the deck. We will be covering love in general, um, but ultimately it's up to the cards to see what they want to discuss. It could be financial for both. I'll be using two decks, um, but we'll see. Uh, so Aries, let's just get this started. This is January, and I know this is coming in at the middle of the month, but it'll be good for two weeks, um, and then February will be out. Also two cards here. So Aries, you have a ladder and you have leg. Stepping into a new experience and climbing towards success. So definitely you, you're looking to step out of your comfort zone, trying something new, uh, possibly trying something different if you're currently uh, working for uh, a company you're willing to stay with. Uh, you're definitely trying to climb um, towards success in some way. Even in terms, if you want to step out into your own, um, just get out there. Just put your, your best foot forward. This channel, I keep trying and trying and trying and trying and trying, and eventually it'll stick and I'll, I'll come into a routine and what have you, but you got to keep trying. Success doesn't uh, find you without you putting your best foot forward. And whatever you're going to do, whether you're staying with a corporation or you're starting your own thing is going to be successful but we got to put the time in let's get a month here a month where we can expect to see some fruits from our labor here let's see january you're actually going to see something within the next couple of weeks that it's going to tell you you're on the right path i love that so january for you right away you're going to see um a race a promotion um, you're going to step out on your own. You're going to get great feedback. You're going to receive something back um, to let you know you're on the right path. Let's see here with the Astro House. Yeah. Hey, you got two. So we have love and marriage. You know, what's interesting is, is that this may be a partnership with your significant other, it could mean that you're trying to set your future straight so you can attract marriage and love, or you are in a committed relationship and you are working on your partnership. You're putting um, your partnership first. Um, and I love that love and marriage came out together. Now let's get some cards going. So I'm gonna be using just a Rider Waite Smith classic deck here. Um, for our general message and then I'll be using the light series deck so uh, let's see if we can get any uh, love messages for you so let's talk about finance right finance and career can we get a couple of cards for finance and career for Aries 2023 January January 2023. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. So looking positive, you're looking to control your finances. You're looking to be the one who has a say. You're, you you know, you want to enjoy the luxuries of life, but you're also wanting to share it. You know, Queens is the mother, the nurturer, um, the person who shares their wealth with others. So you're definitely looking to provide, and this is male or female. We have Temperance here that came out with that card. And let's just get one more. And you have the Ace of Cups. See, for you, it all ties all together. You're looking to find a balance. You're looking to find a balance in, you know, achieving your goals because you want to provide some stability. Um, and that's represented here by the Temperance card. You want to get your footing on an even ground, finally. Um, because we have our toes in the water here. This is telling me it's been an emotional uh, year for you in 2022, and we're looking to make some changes. Maybe you have some resolutions here 
um, that are going on, but it's all tied to your emotion. If you're in a current relationship, it's a it's a spring of new beginning. Like, you know, maybe you reconnect with your partner um, emotionally. Maybe your partner helps you with, to bring that balance in. Also, if you're looking for love, this is a great time to find love, find a, a good prospect to settle down, to fall in love uh, with someone. At the bottom of this deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You have double aces here. So again, like I said earlier, you're looking to really have it all, have your love, relationship, marriage, along with your career goals. And, and, and that's wonderful to have here. You know, there's a saying you can't have it all, but sometimes you can. You can have something close to it. Um, and it's all about keeping that balance, that foot on earth and that foot in the water. The two, the temperance. Let's see here. Now, coming to your relationships, we have the seven of wands. Like you've been hurt before, yes. Everybody has been hurt before. And um, it's created kind of a bubble of... For you to have a successful relationship, whether it be business or with a, 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 a business partnership or a love partnership, there has to be some type of communication and there has to be some type of walls crumbling. Yes, we understand that you are at peace keeping people at bay, but to bring this all together, we're going to have to be vulnerable is what I want to tell you, is what Spirit is giving to, giving to me for you, Aries. So we need to be vulnerable. I love that this Queen of Pentacles came out for you again, because this is telling me that you are, you are, you are in charge, right? You are embodying this person of control, this person of um, means, right? It also tells me that you're trying to get your emotions in balance. You're trying to be more grounded versus living in the emotional world and maybe letting your temper get the better of you. Um, I love that. Final card here is we have the tower. For those of you who have been guarded, right? It, it, it has to, you have to bring down those walls. Like I said, the tower has to be released for you to move forward, to be successful in both areas of your life. Because for you at this time, it's tied in together. Um, I love that. I really do love that for you. You have the moon card and this is telling me you know stop worrying about what you don't know and stop trying to control what you don't know use your instincts and follow your gut because it's leading you on the right path um, and I absolutely love this for you I'm gonna finish this reading with an Oracle card um, so this is Madame Endora's Oracle card deck it's a it's a oldie but a goodie and let's get you a message for aries january 2023 what does aries need to know aries you have the oracle seek wisdom and guidance from elders because we don't know everything you want to speak to someone who's seasoned um in business and in relationships because that is where you're going to get the best advice someone who's walked the walk walk the walk and talk the talk um i know it's probably easier to talk to your contemporary about certain things you know someone around your own age but sometimes the best advice is from someone who has experience um and that is your message aries i'm delilah rose thank you for joining me